everybody, my name is Jim Cummings and I'm a filmmaker from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I just got this new 360 video camera and I wanted to try it out by creating this series where I talk to filmmakers about advice and how we make movies. I realize I spend so much time talking on the phone with filmmakers and giving them advice and this could be a cool way to do it on a larger scale. So I'm starting this show. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them next week. I'm a YouTuber now. <laughs> so today I wanted to go through 10 suggestions that I have for filmmakers and how you can make movies on your own, particularly shorts. And so I have these 10 suggestions and I just kind of want to hang out with you guys and talk about how I did it and what I think about short films. I think mainly the first suggestion that I have is to try to impress the audience through the craftsmanship of the short film to use the camera and the sound to help tell the story and make sure that the DNA of the project is that you are trying to compel the audience at all costs. There's a lot of competition out there and if you can make something that it is even slightly better than other stuff, um, you'll do fine. My second suggestion is to read and watch great short fiction. So find wonderful short stories that are very impressive. And then um, Short of the Week has a really wonderful functionality where you can search for channels, like um, there's a Sundance channel, a South by Southwest channel, a Can channel, so you can see all of the great short films that were played at festivals by programmers who are forced to watch everything. It's a great way to ensure that you'll see stuff that is culturally and socially significant or considered that from around the world. My third suggestion would be to cut everything superfluous. So if there's a line in the dialogue that is not necessary, that isn't working as setup or payoff, I say cut it. Uh, to quote Longfellow, nothing useless is or low, each thing in its place is best, and what seems but idle show strengthens and supports the rest. It's becoming a bit intellectual. Number four is attacking a serious subject with complete austerity almost always fails. Uh, if you don't make jokes throughout your movies, your audiences will. The next one I would have to say would be discuss evergreen subjects like life and love and legacy and grief and happiness and all of the subjects that you see, you know, from thousands of years of human artwork. The next one would have to be uh, asking yourself before you shoot, or while you're shooting, is this how this is said? Or is this how this actually happens in real life? Uh, I find that to be very helpful when making something, to write something that I think is cool, and then showing up on the set and go, this doesn't feel right. The next one is a, is a fun one. I always say uh, director's visions are often mirages, where in directing something, a director can imagine that a project is going to be fantastic and then it turns out not to be, and audiences don't really care about it, and I had to learn that the hard way as a producer for a long time. So if the filmmaker isn't really interested in engaging with the audience, that can sometimes be terribly detrimental to the storytelling. So this is a really important one. Um, it's not a sketch. A sketch is its own thing, and sketch comedy and sketch drama can be very important, um, but that is not a short film. It is a sketch. So a short film is something that abides by different language structures, where it is more about showing the most important moments of a character's life rather than getting a simple idea across to an audience for a laugh or a scare. So keep that in mind. My last and final suggestion is to keep the credits short. If you have a five minute short film with two minutes of credits, that's two short films. <laughs> My name is Jim Cummings. That's the end of this video. I'll probably do more like this. I also want to start a series of these videos where I kind of like bring other filmmakers out hiking or to a field or something and have a conversation. I think that might be beneficial for young people and if you have any suggestions, feel free to add comments or reach out. Thanks for watching. There are many bees here, and I don't want to get stung, but I wanted to show how gorgeous it is.